Whole of our life, we keep wondering what will happen if we do this. But we don't ask ourselves what will happen if we don't do this. Well, today's video is all about what will happen if you don't learn bioinformatics. Well, I'm sure you must have seen the title of this video. That's how you clicked it. So today I'm not going to talk anything beating around the bush. Let me come straight to the point. If you are not learning bioinformatics, are you going to miss something huge or is it just a few missed opportunities? What is going to happen in the future and how exactly you can capitalize? If you are interested, then watch this video till the end. Now to start with, do not forget to like and subscribe to our video channel because that's where all things biotechnology happens. Now to start with, if you are a fresh fish or a wet lab scientist or a molecular biologist, microbiologist, whatever is your designation, if you are not learning bioinformatics, will you lose opportunities in the future, future or growth in the future? The answer to that, to some extent, is yes. Now, why do I say that? The reason is data. Remember, Mukesh Ambani said data is the new oil. Well, I'm not uh, talking about the rest of the world, but in the biotech experiments, data is certainly the new oil. So that is why you need to have data-driven research. And if today's biological research is largely data-driven, or genomics, transcriptomics, and proteomics, and various other omics related fields tomorrow it's going to be ai powered data right so today if you don't learn bioinformatics you can't build on the top of it with ai applications and tools and that is where the world is going to heavily depend on bioinformatics in the future to analyze massive data sets to understand interpret and of course extrapolate these data sets now followed by that without bioinformatics knowledge you may struggle to interpret the results. It may limit your knowledge and understanding of the current experiment which is going on in your lab. And in a broader context, you will not be able to innovate. And that is where you will miss out on the insights which other researchers might get, which they will publish and you will be like left behind. So do not get left behind. You should pursue bioinformatics. Well, I do have five more reasons. But before I get to that, let me tell you, Biotechnica is starting its very own bioinformatics global tools and techniques winter internship with international projects on uh, by our Swedish partners on various research aspects sites such as monkeypox such as various other research aspects the link is given in the description you can check it out you can enroll yourself in this internship and you can get a work experience letter recommendation letter also along with published papers so let's now come back to our video where we are talking about the importance of bioinformatics and what happens if you do not learn bioinformatics so the next point which I have for you is reduced career opportunities Opportunities. Now, as I told you, if you do not have a very comprehensive outlook of the data which is being generated out of your experiment, you will miss out on opportunities and that will directly impact your career opportunities. Now, companies of today want a Swiss knife employee. They don't want just an employee to know molecular biology. They want them to know microbiology. They want them to know genetics. They want them to know chemistry. They want them to know bioinformatics as well. So lack of competitiveness will happen if you do not know bioinformatics. The demand of scientists who can bridge this gap between wet lab data, wet lab research and computational analysis is growing by the day. And that means employers in academia, employers in industry, employers in pharmaceutical companies, biopharmaceutical and biotech companies are prioritizing candidates who have bioinformatics skills. Without these, your career may not grow. So that's a risk which you might have if you do not take up bioinformatics. The next point under this would be risk of obsolescence. So that is, as more and more biotech and pharma companies will transition into bioinformatics and data-driven research, traditional wet lab roles are going to be limited and your inability to adapt to these situations will create the same thing what happened with Charles Darwin's theory that smartest of the species or the strongest of the species do not survive but the species which adapt so you know the Charles Darwin theory you should adapt. Now followed with that, the next point which I would like to highlight is the dependency on bioinformaticians. So now, like I said, all companies do not want to hire a separate department and a separate set of people as bioinformaticians. And because it leads to delay in research and there can be communication barriers in between two teams, they instead want somebody who can interpret data on their own. And that is where relying solely on bioinformatician is something which pharmaceutical companies don't want to do. They want somebody who has already got the ability 
University of Bioinformatics. So that is where you come into the picture and you need to learn bioinformatics. The next point which I have for you is inability to innovate. Now, see, biotech is a field where innovations are happening every day. But today we are on a high speed biotech innovation highway. That means we need more and more molecules coming out of our lab and that's the target companies are giving to their scientists. So you as a fresher or experienced candidate, you have to understand that bioinformatics is no longer a separate subject. It is already integrated with your wet lab research. So many modern discoveries, especially in the field of genomics, personalized medicine will require seamless integration of lab experiments data with personalized bioinformatics approach. And that is where without computational skills and computational tools, you will miss out on opportunities to innovate and push the boundaries of research. And that is where you will not be able to innovate. Your colleague might be able to innovate. They will progress. You might not. So that's a fear of missing out, which I don't want you to have. And to avoid that happening, you should learn bio informatics. Now, another thing which I have seen is limited amount of funding. So if we have some fund agency coming in, if we can show that there is an increased ROI because you are already a bioinformatics expert as well as a wet lab expert, your chances of winning that funding is higher. So of course, that is where you can have more funding if you have bioinformatics knowledge as well. Now coming to publishing paper, that is another difficulty. That's the next point I have. Difficulty in publishing research. So when you are targeting high impact journals, they often require comprehensive data analysis to support experimental results. And without bioinformatics, it becomes harder to meet the rigorous standards needed for publishing in these prestigious journals. And that is where they will reject it, saying it is incomplete analysis and you will come back again, hiring a bioinformatician and then getting the job done. So it's again a long process. Now, the last point which I have for you is if you do not learn bioinformatics, then how will you Learn AI ML, which is the next step. If you fall behind today in bioinformatics, tomorrow you'll fall behind in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning in biology. And that means with the rise of AI ML experts who are from biology, your job may be taken away by them. So you should know that the world is moving towards personalized medicine, the world is moving towards accelerated drug discovery using AI and ML and using bioinformatics tools and genomics data. So now that we know all of this, the conclusion is you should learn bioinformatics sooner if you do have interest because the industry will demand it. It will have a lot of money in the future and you will definitely grow in this field if you learn bioinformatics. So what are you waiting for? Biotechnica has started the 25th batch of bioinformatics winter internship. Details are given in the description. It's from 25th of November also and it has got international projects which you can do with our Swedish partner and grow in your career. So all the best for your future. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below and I'll definitely try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you. Take care. Keep shining. Bye-bye.